Here I'm showcasing an asset which you can purchase on my Buy Me A Coffee page. So to set it up, you just gotta right click, go to Small Hedge and click Easy Boundary. So you can see that this thing appears here. Now what is it? You can see here's the parent and under its parent is a bunch of nodes. With these nodes you can drag them around and put them into any position that you like. You can even select the node and you can duplicate it to make more nodes. Now what actually is this? If I were to click Boundary, the parent, and toggle off visibility, you can see that it's made up of all these box colliders. So you can create any kind of boundary that you can think of. So if I turn that back on, you can select any node, you can delete them, and it'll automatically delete. And of course, you can put it into any shape that you like. So if I were to go to boundary, let's say I like this combination here, I'm going to click confirm. And now what that does is it removes all the scripts. So that script is removed, all these scripts are removed, and now it's just box colliders sitting around in a circle. And you can see that it's just attached here. Now let's say I want to edit it again. I click boundary, add component, and put on easy boundary. And now you can see that I can move all these nodes again. And I can duplicate them, and I can delete them as per usual. So let's put a real example out in here. And I've got these cubes. I'm going to right click and create another boundary. And this time, I'm going to delete all the nodes except for one. So this node here, I'm going to bring to the edge of this cube. Now I'm going to start making a boundary. I'm going to start duplicating it, and I'm going to make my way around. And you can see that this is a little bit annoying here. So I'm going to click boundary, and I'm going to turn off close loop so that I can really see what I'm looking at. So I'm going to go here, bring it all the way here, duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. And let's bring it all the way around and duplicate and let's bring it up to here. So you can see I'm just about done and I'm going to turn on close loop again and we'll close that up. And of course it's a bit small right now so I can increase the height of the boundary to make sure it goes above the cubes. So I can click confirm and now I've got my box colliders all set. So if we've got a player coming along, now they cannot enter this boundary because it is a bunch of box colliders. And of course, let's say I make a mistake, I want to reset it all back to normal. Let's just add the easy boundary script back up again. And let's go reset, and you can see it resets back to the square again. So feel free to check it out on my Buy Me A Coffee page, and I'll see you next time.